Well, I went to strum the old six string and saw this. Quite a bummer. Let's uh, see if we can fix it. All right, so we've got it on the workbench and we're just gonna try to uh, glue it up to normal wood glue here. So, this is the first for me, so we're gonna be learning together. So we'll turn it on its side so that I can access the headstock right here a little bit. And then we're gonna use this tiny little brush to try to get down into the cracks. Now I'm gonna leave the strings on with the normal string tension because I think that that is kind of one of the reasons that it's pulling the headstock away. And then after we get the glue in, we'll take the strings off and uh, let the natural tension go together. So instead of just dumping this on, uh, I'm gonna take the brush, like I said, and just try to work it into the crevice. And I'm just using a standard wood glue. I've got this left over from working on a couple different projects in the past. I wouldn't recommend using anything that expands for obvious reasons. And we're gonna do a little bit on both sides just to try to get as much into that crack as we can. And we'll be clamping it, which will have all the extra squeeze out, make sure that we don't have any air gaps. I got plenty in there. And then now I'm gonna flip it over. Like I said, I'm being pretty liberal with it, just trying to get as much in there as I can. It's not gonna dry on you immediately, at least not this kind of wood glue. There's probably some out there that will. This isn't a uh, contact cement or anything of that sort. And I also have no idea if this is gonna ruin a brush or not. Uh, my guess is that it will, so I used an old one. There's a little bit of water handy. I'm just gonna wipe off the first round of the excess. Try not to have your paper towel too damp. You don't wanna have a whole bunch of excess water running down your instrument, but anyway, just enough to kind of clean it up. Now we'll just take the strings off of it. This actually might turn into a good tool if it stays nice and thin, we'll see. So what I wanna do is just gently ease all the string tension off. Once I see the string starting to loosen up, you know, I'm hoping, hoping that this will release enough of the tension to where it just naturally closes, but we've got the clamp here handy in case we need to use it. All right, everything is loose. Let it go back on its own. Okay, yeah, kinda. So you can see that it squeezed in just a little bit there. The crack is somewhat more closed. Let me get a fresh, paper towel, dab off this extra glue, and just see how much of a gap we do have left. Okay, and so looking at it, it did a good job of starting to close, but it's definitely not closed all the way yet, so we are gonna need to clamp it. And I've got a few different styles of clamps. Um, I don't really have the perfect one for this application, but I've got this guy, it's kinda got soft rubber pads, well, hard rubber pads, but it's not a hard metal, and it's not grooved or anything, so I don't think it's gonna leave a mark. Wipe any of the excess dust off of it so we don't get anything funky in our glue. That's a good view there. You can see how it's not quite closed all the way on its own. It'll do for a string change anyway, so let's get these guys out of here. Probably should have done that from the start. So I've made sure that we've got paper towel underneath once I start clamping. It will definitely squeeze out. So I'm gonna be very, very careful to avoid the tuning mechanisms. It got on my clamp a little bit, which I do not love. So I'm gonna let it sit for just a second, wipe it off, release some of the pressure. And then I'm gonna try to find some kind of spacer so that I can get further away from that without glue being all over the clamp. All right, so I got some of these hard rubber washers that I think will be perfect for what we want to do here. You may notice that this is not uh, organized. It's because I dropped it with the lid open once. So yeah, immediately as soon as I release the clamp, it re-separated again. So definitely gonna have to have that extra pressure. I have to take these to get them to stay together. All right, well that's pretty Efficiently smashed down in there. We're just gonna wipe off the excess now and uh, let that dry. And I'll see you guys in about 24 hours. Through the magic of editing, it has been 24 hours. So uh, let's see how it looks. Yeah, not bad. Let's take the clamp off. Not too bad. 
focus there. All right, well, let's get it cleaned up and restrung and see if it holds. So you can see, we do have a little bit of a mark right here. Try to buff that out. Got some fingerboard cleaner to put on it. Got some body cleaner as well. What are all those? So these are just different little creams and potions, as you might say, to help clean up the guitar. So this first one was the fingerboard cleaner and prep. Uh, this is the guitar polishing cleaner for non-fingerboard stuff, just a set from Dunlop. But uh, pretty much mainly use the body, or what is this one called? The, the guitar polishing cleaner more than the rest of them, just because easy to get fingerprints and uh, other little smudge marks. But anytime I'm restringing, it's a good time to do it. And specifically just anywhere that the strings are going to be under because it's really hard to get to those whenever the uh, strings are in place. And then we'll just do the back real quick. So yeah, I mean, you can definitely see that the glue is on there right now. The joint is, you can kind of feel it. And that's probably more because there's a little bit of excess glue. So we're going to see if we can uh, get that off of there. Oh, that seems to be making a big difference. Yeah, I like how this is turning out. I'm not gonna say that it looks factory by any means, but it looks a lot better than it did. I like it. Well, I'll put some strings on it real quick and uh, we'll see how she plays. Moment of truth, will it explode? No. All right, sweet. Well, we're up to tension, in tune. Let's check the joint. Looks pretty good. I mean, it's not factory, not necessarily professional, but for a DIY fix, I'm pretty stoked about it. Didn't need any extra material. Already had everything on hand. Uh, if you've done this, let me know in the comments how it went for you. Um, if there's a follow-up video to this, then it means that the headstock exploded off while I was playing, probably in violent fashion. Uh, but otherwise, it means that this held together, which is what I expect, because wood glue is pretty good stuff. Anyway, if you stuck around this far, I really appreciate you. It's fun to make these videos, and everyone who watches to the end really means a lot to me. You guys have a good rest of your day, and uh, good luck playing.